Hello everyone, this is Nature Woman. I'm coming back. I'm going to show you um, my Berkeley bag with some soft plastics in here. Um, so let me go ahead and open it. So it has a nice handle. It's kind of like a messenger bag. So it has that. It has a, a strap you can put over your shoulders, which is nice. It has a front pocket, which is pretty large. So we will go ahead and open that up. And I got this years and years ago, and it was... This is what it is. That's what I paid for it years ago. I don't know what it goes for today because I, you know, like I said, I got it years ago. And I used it a little bit back in the day, but not really because I wasn't really into soft plastics. Didn't really have a ton of them. But now I have all sorts of them. And um, so I've got them stuck in here. And so here's what the front pocket looks like. Um has a thing for pliers that you can put in there, but you're gonna, they need to be short if they're gonna fit in there. I just have a couple of uh, Strike King um, stick baits in there. So, cream pumpkin and sweet pear. So, I'm gonna try those out. Those are my fancy baits. So, put that back in, put this in there, but uh, this is basically what it has in there. It's like storage and stuff. So, I will go ahead and show that to you just in case you wanna look at this put that on there so you can kind of see it and again it is the fishing gear I got this years ago I hardly ever used it but I just went through I'm going through all my fishing stuff so I found it so I'm going to try to use it this year and put it on the boat and put my plastics normally what I do is I put my soft plastics in one of these Bass Pro things this one's empty so if I need to use that I can or if I just want like just a small thing to go that's perfect Button here, let's go ahead and see what we have. Um, I just got a bunch of um, soft plastics for my birthday, so I put them in here. So, this is not to show off. This is not, you don't need this many. This is ridiculous that I even have this many, um, but I also do fish a lot, and I always fish with about 14 to 15 people, and we always share baits. We always, like, give each other a little something to try, and see what works what doesn't work and um and I also have family members that gift me stuff for birthdays and holidays so here it is um this right here you can store hooks and stuff in there I have not done that yet but I may go get some extra hooks and weights and put it in there so that's like the front side so here we go so these are pretty big these are about the size of a 3700 box right here and I just have like my Bobby Garlands, just all different um, colors of them. I also, in the behind of it, I put my Mr. Crappie. And basically this is my crappie stuff. And then I put my grubs right here, all different kinds and colors. Um, I got these for pretty cheap. They're about a dollar, dollar, or under $2 a pack. So these are really nice and these are pretty much what works in my area. Um, here are some of my birthday ones that I got. Uh, some crappie max. And uh, just various colors. I put this in there too. Um, then here's some Kalins. I have a lake that these to slay at. This color right here. The redhead and the sparkles. Oh man, that catches perch. And of course the classic Mr. Twister. I love those. Um, this right here is from Cabela's. And these are pretty much new baits. I mean, I haven't really used a lot of these baits. So um, I'm going to get to using these here soon because we're taking the boat out. So uh, these are my Gary Yamamoto. And uh, these grubs, my friend, she slays bass with these things. She puts it on um, a big hook and just tosses it out. And she just gets all kinds of bass with them. So I, I bought some this year to try. She gave me a couple last year, which I did catch some on. But I'm going to try this year because I bought my own bag. So, And then right here are these centipedes or french fry ones. Oh, I don't know. Can you see this? Oh, sorry. Uh, hopefully you can see that pretty good. Um, and it just basically looks like a little french fry. Those work pretty good. I mean... Um, and this is the watermelon. I have a green pumpkin one too somewhere. Um, and then over here are some of these flukes that I got. These were gifts to me. So very appreciative of that. Here's some of my Z-Man stuff. I don't have a lot of Z-Man stuff. 
uh, but I have that. <laughs> Here are some uh, trick worms. I have pink, black, and uh, what is that, pumpkin. And uh, the pink I put in the rivers. And that and the white really work pretty good in the rivers. So I'm getting kind of uh, on the black ones. I may have to get a, another pack by fall, but I'm going to use these up before I replace them. And then here are some of those like finesse worms. So I've got gooseberry over there and green pumpkin. And I like to do those and drop shot them. And sometimes I just Texas rig them and throw them out and that catches bass. And then here are some Gary Yamamoto baits that I got. And uh, so I just have that in there for now. And uh, I have other colors of Gary Yamamoto. Um, but these are what I have in this bag. This right here is just a mesh pocket, so you can put all kinds of, um, you know, like if you want to put maps or stuff or the lakes that you're in and or whatever, that's what you can do. And this is the back of it, so. So yeah, that's a nice little bait bag. These bags don't feel all that strong. So if you're looking for something that's strong, no, but they do hold my baits. I mean, they, this is a lot of baits to take. I mean, this is a ridiculous amount to take out with you. But if you're just trying to thumb through them, this is pretty nice. I also have um, a bunch of baits that I got from the, the auction. It was, I bought from a fisherman that either retired or owned a um, bait shop. I'm not for sure. But I got uh, a couple like containers, uh, those little plastic containers holding the baits. So I'm trying to go through, so I don't want them to get old and crusty. So I've been trying to gift them to people because I got a great deal on them. So it's not like I went broke buying them or anything, but it's a lot of baits. Like this is, <laughs> this is enough to last you a lifetime. I mean, I mean, I'm going to share these with like my family members and foster kids. And, and like I said, we always have family get togethers. In fact, we have one coming up here soon where we're going to have, oh, about... 20 family members I believe somewhere up in there coming and going fishing and so um since they have to travel up here I don't have them bringing their stuff uh they can just use our tackle and we have plenty of tackle as you can see and uh so that's not I mean this is nature woman thank you for watching yes it's a lot of plastics and oh it's overboard but I'm trying to get everything organized trying to see what I want and don't want like I said there's going to be a giveaway on this channel there's a lot. Um, I'm no longer buying tackle or anything, and I'm gonna have to say I don't need any more from family members because I've got way too much. So this is Nature Woman. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification. I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a good weekend.